What is up, everybody? It is Derek with Night Water Project, nightwaterproject.com. Doing this video to uh, give a quick review of Taylor Swift's new holiday single, Christmas Tree Farm. But first, just wanted to say we've released a new Christmas album titled Christmas Favorites. It is out on iTunes, Amazon, CD Baby, Spotify, and all those digital download um, and uh, streaming apps. You can also get a physical copy on nightwaterproject.com as well as on Amazon. So check it out. It features 23 songs, a lot of holiday classics, and uh, I think you'll like it. It's doing very well. Um, so, this video specifically is about Taylor Swift's new holiday single that she just came out with this morning at midnight. It's called Tr Christmas Tree Farm. And she made the announcement uh, the other day, and I had an opportunity to uh, watch or uh, listen to it um, this morning. And overall, I think it's quite mediocre. I don't think it's amazing, yet I don't think it's absolutely horrible either. Some things that um, I first thought of when I listened to it in its entirety, it was, first, first was, this is going to be amazing. The first 10 seconds of this is like a symphony uh, orchestra. And compared to her pop stuff, which is pre-looped beats and bass tracks and vocals that's pretty much it i was very excited about this when i f heard the first 10 seconds of this and thought oh my gosh this is gonna be like a symphony orchestra backing her through the entire thing unfortunately i was bummed out about that because it was not it was just the 10 the first 10 seconds pretty much it was like a symphony that being said, it goes that it changes transition and she starts talking about her Christmas tree farm in the verse. And here's another thing. I do like the verses of this song. I think they're catchy. The choruses I thought need a little bit of work. I was expecting more from the choruses. Um, it's just like a blah, like mediocre and so forth. Um, but that's that's what I thought specifically uh, for for that. Um, but it really reminded me of Katy Perry's uh, holiday single uh, that came out the other year. Um, it really did. It's very similar, um, probably just because on the beat it has the jingle bells throughout the whole rest of the uh, performance. Um, that's probably why it reminds me of that. Um, but yeah, overall, I thought it was mediocre. It wasn't great, it wasn't horrible, but I'm sure Taylor Swift fans um, absolutely love it because they pretty much like everything that she comes out with. Um, but the sad part is any other non-stream musician or even maybe a mainstream musician could could write the same exact thing say if it was the same exact song and they would come out with it all those people would be like eh, it's okay instead of oh my god it's the ma most amazing thing in the world that goes to show us as a society that people love the musician they love the artist more than they actually love what the artist releases and you see it in so many things these days that the talent no longer drives people, the, the reason why people follow people, the reason why people dig and love people. It, it, it comes down to the, the person who releases it, the person who sings it, and so forth. And as a musician myself, that's unfortunate because I see so many great musicians in like the Why Missing PA area and take note, Taylor Swift is from that area. And she used to play at malls and stuff around here and people could care less. But the instant someone goes 
mainstream and gets backed by record companies and labels and all that stuff, oh my god, then, then all of a sudden she's a big deal. So kudos to her on, you know, doing what she loves and everything, but from a listener's perspective, it is time for the listener to love the songs they hear and stuff and not just follow people because of who they are and because of all of a sudden they're they're now in the spotlight and so forth. So back on track, I thought the song is 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 okay. I would give it like a five out of ten stars. Mainstream radio will probably play the heck out of it because it's all politics in mainstream radio and they will play whatever they're told to play unlike people um, unlike listeners calling in and saying I like that or I don't like that that's just how it is these days um, like I said I, I, the Jingle Bells reminded me of like a Katy Perry song that uh, they came out with but it sounded like it was a filler I do, I do give her credits though I, I do like hearing actually actual um, instruments I was not a fan of her previous album, Lover, that came out, um, mainly because it was just vocals, bass, and pre-recorded beats. That's it. But this, it is nice to hear actual instruments in a Taylor Swift song again. Kind of reminds me of her old country days. So with that being said, my name is Derek. I'm with Night Water Project, nightwaterproject.com. Check out some of our Taylor Swift covers, unique Taylor Swift covers that we've done. Um, and we did a couple off her newest album, Lover, as well, as uh, some of our older stuff. So check it out. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are about my statements regarding her new single. Um, and it'll be very interesting to see, moving forward, what she does off topic a little bit, but it'll be very interesting to see what she does as far as re-recording her old stuff um, so that she has the rights back to her her songs from the past. So hopefully everyone has a great holiday 2019 and look forward to some of our new Nightwater Project music coming out in the new year.